So we'll try this again. And as people come in, I'll know whether we have the sound or not. Uh, can you guys hear me? Okay, right now. I'm actually going without my microphone. I have a uh, Yeti and uh, it's not getting recognized by this computer. Okay, so yeah, we have sound, good. So the sound's not gonna be as good as what it was beforehand, but uh, who cares? It's early morning, <laughs> we're having our pajama party. Okay, so, wow, there's like so much going on right now. Um, I noticed that there's something, gosh, I can invite people here. This is cool. Um, some things have changed on Facebook Live where I can even do screen share on here. It's pretty awesome. Anyway, quick uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to Terry, Jan, Nikki, Natalie, Sandra, Sandy, Tamara, Amber, Charlotte, Cheryl. <laughs> I can't believe there's this many people here this early in the morning. So last night I was in bed probably 9.30. You can tell I just, well, maybe you can't tell. My hair kind of looks the same. Um, but I was in bed about 9.30 or so. Before I went to bed at nine o'clock, I posted a shot of the Schumann Resonance and basically said, see you at 1.30. Now what happened was I ended up waking, at, waking up at 11.30 and I rolled back over and went to sleep. I actually fell asleep listening to, I just put out a, a new RNA DNA codon activation mantra video which you can find on in5d.com. I posted it in my last thread. I fell asleep listening to that. I wake up at 1130 and then I just like, I said, screw it. This is, I have to go back to sleep. So I, I did exactly two hours later, I woke up at 1.30, just like what I had said <laughs> on that post with the Schumann Resonance saying, see you at 1.30. Well, here we are. Now it's almost 4 o'clock Eastern time, obviously been up since 1.30. And uh, we have a lot of people that are in the same boat as I am. So... This is crazy. And so many people cannot sleep. We have 48 people on right now. This is crazy. I'm hoping at some point we can all get a nap in, but I'm also wondering, is it from the Schumann Resonance? Is it from what Rosie Neal and I were talking about, about these concentric rings that are being emitted from the sun? In case you missed that, I had this vision toward the beginning of this month, February 2019. I was doing my walk of gratitude on the beach and I stopped and I just meditated. I got this vision of concentric rings of plasmic energy being emitted from the sun. Now, I only told one person when I got back from my walk of gratitude back then, but Rosie Neal called me the other day and um, I don't know, four or five days ago, and she was talking about the same thing to me on the phone. I'm like, this is more than just a coincidence. And as it turned out, there are people, there's a picture in the article that I posted a couple days ago on Monday, I think. There's a picture of a woman and you can see the concentric rings right above her head, fanning out. Lisa Brown also posted a picture 
of something similar. So I'm wondering if our sleep patterns have something to do with these concentric rings of plasmic energy. Because we have had on and off intermittent lasts from the Schumann resonance. So, but that doesn't explain the points and times in between where we're feeling this energy for no reason. Now, I don't know about you guys. Let me know in the chat. But when I woke up, I felt like I had slept all night. Like perhaps maybe that I got already eight hours of sleep. I feel that way right now. Here it is four o'clock after four o'clock. Okay, uh, and this is interesting. Terry uh, is saying, an FYI, my Facebook says your address is invalid or censorship. Well, I don't know. I'm going to check that right now. So bear with me. Yeah, let me, in the meanwhile, let me know, how do you guys feel? How's your energy right now? You, uh, does, does it feel like you've slept all night? I know for me, it, it definitely does. <laughs> so, and right now I'm just scrolling on to finding an article. Let's see what happens when I click it. Okay, so Terry, I had no issue clicking on an article going to N5D. I don't know what to tell you. Um, but yeah, it does definitely sound like uh, more shadow banning is going on. And that's to be expected. Uh, we're seeing the unhinged uh, become even more unhinged, and they're panicking. And it just goes to show you that we're winning when all the censorship is going on, what are they afraid of? Well, it's the truth. It's what's happening with Pluto and Capricorn. And you can see that in my most recent article that I put out yesterday. It's called Glitching Out. They're little, literally glitching out right on schedule with Pluto and Capricorn. It's true. And the number one thing that is happening is I guarantee it, they're not grounding. Natalie is saying that yesterday about 2.30 Central, she felt a huge change in pressure. Felt like something was pushing on my head and lots of vertigo. I thought I was going to pass out, it was crazy. I know exactly what you're talking about, Natalie. And for me, it was in the back of my head, like right below the skull, but kind of like parallel with right about here, uh, right about here. I'm trying to. So yeah, there there was like this like pushing uh, going on with me yesterday, and yesterday as well as today, the high pitch frequency is a B major. Um, don't have my phone right here. Otherwise, I would. Um, emulate that sound for you. But yeah, there was something going on uh, yesterday, and I still feel like uh, there's a little pressure going on right now. <laughs> so, bear with me as I check out the comments. And I always get so far behind on these comments, you know, especially when I do a live beach video, because it's so hard to see. And unfortunately, you can't hold it horizontally. It has to be vertical when you're doing a beach video. So it makes it really hard to see anything, especially being outside. So yeah, a lot of people are saying high energy, lots of energy. My energy is awake. I suffer from in insomnia, says Kim. We also have a 
Mercury retrograde <laughs> coming up in about a week. Throw that in there. Tired but not sleepy. Yes, energized, happy, celebrating, says Unity Grace. Starting to wind down, having been asleep, yes, says Leap, Leap Feather. Le left, I can't pronounce that name. I'm sorry. <laughs> Crazy though, we have 57 people here at this time. One thing I wanted to point out too, in a Q post, a recent Q post, let's see if it shows up for me here. Bear with me. Um, let's just take a minute to pop up here. There must be a lot of people on the Q site right now. Here it is. <clears throat> So last night, Q Anon said, within the next 21 days, and these are in capital letters, big, big, big happenings are going to take place. So we're looking at the spring equinox during or right around that time period. I believe 21 days from when he posted that would be the 19th. So it's quite possible that something could happen. Uh, I know that there are some people calling for um, some big events to happen. Uh, Aluna Ash uh, was expecting something uh, in her last video, and she was talking about the plasma waves coming from the sun as well. So we're just going to have to see. Um, you know me, I don't put dates on anything. You know, whenever I, I I get a vision, I'm not I'm I'm never shown a date because you know the timelines are constantly changing every millisecond. You know, so what I'm given when I see these things are just visions. I I, I never get a date, but I know that we all feel like we're on the edge of something huge right now. Okay, there's some confirmation about, you know, this is how far back I am. Confirmation about the back of the head. Yeah. From Tamara. And Nikki's saying, funny you should mention glitches. I've been seeing them recently. Looks like the Hunger Game glitches. Yeah, I mean, people are just freaking out. And they're just basically not grounding. It's, it's that simple. <laughs> David saying no retrograde. Yeah, unfortunately, we are having the Mercury retrograde coming. Dear friend of mine, my uh, former in 5 d radio co-host, Kendra, is <laughs> she was born during a Mercury retrograde. <laughs> and I know that chances are somebody watching this was probably also born during a Mercury retrograde just the way it is. <clears throat> Kendra is also a, a Virgo. Uh, so her little monkey mind constantly goes, and, uh, which is awesome, you know, I, I think, because she's always thinking about stuff. And for me, I'm always trying to get rid of all that stuff in my, in my mind, clearing the clutter, you know. So more people confirming vertigo and head pressure ascension symptoms, which is awesome. Kim is wondering if um, 
you know, people are experiencing a psychic attack. I don't feel like it is, at least not in my case, but, you know, it might be very well possible. Josh, Josh is asking, are we seeing the grand event happening in March 2019? I certainly hope so. God, I hope it happens right now. Now. Hopefully. <laughs> A lot of people are feeling that there is something big that's going to happen in March. And one of the reasons why I follow Q is because of the name of the movement. It's called the Great Awakening. And for any of you that aren't familiar with Q, um, there's a Q map that kind of ties everything together, which includes 5D Earth in there as well. So, and what's happening is the, the swamp is getting drained. We're seeing the corruption come to the surface with Pluto and Capricorn right now. Pluto entered Capricorn in 2008, and as you can read in many of the articles that I've written about it, Pluto's, Pluto is known as the destroyer, and it will tear down everything that's not in humanity's best interests, which includes money, government, and religion. We predicted this basically when Pluto entered Capricorn, and we've been watching that happen. And the reason for that is the truth vibration is so high right now, and all these truths are coming out, and they're coming up to the surface. And it's, it's basically unhinging a lot of people. It's making them glitch out when their belief systems are being challenged. Uh, for the rest of us, we're just watching in fascination because there's nothing that anyone can do to prevent this truth from continuing to rise. Pluto stays in Capricorn until 2023. So here we are at 2019. We still have another four years. It's fascinating to watch uh, from different perspectives, whether it is through astrology or just what's going on in the world. I know that I try to, I try to reach people, everyone, and I don't want to leave anyone behind. And that's why I do cover politics even on in 5D because a lot of people are waking up through these corruptions of high level officials, uh, travesties, uh, crimes against humanity, like just like a lot of people woke up during 9-11. And eventually what's going to happen is they're going to question, why am I here? What is my purpose? And I want to encourage them to continue questioning, to question everything, including the narrative on the mainstream media that they keep pushing at us, which is basically hot air and bullshit. So I honor those who are just here to hold space that aren't paying attention whatsoever to politics. And I wish I could be one of those people, but I also have that obligation to help everyone. But to those of you that are just holding space that are blanking out everything other than just keeping that space for everyone, for everyone else, thank you. Well, thank you, Jenna. Jenna says the UK is basking in glorious sun and the temperature is 65 degrees and it's normally snowing or very cold or wet. I'm, I, I say thank you for putting it in degrees because I have no idea how to convert to Celsius. <laughs> so if you had said uh, the temperature is, I don't know, 15 Celsius, I'd be like, okay, that sounds cold to me. <laughs> Yes, Kathy, grounding as much as possible is so important right now. I mean, do you think any of these people that are losing it are grounding? I don't think so. <laughs> Sandy's saying, absolutely on the edge 
were starting to tip over very bizarre messages coming from my best friend, which bleeped out many of my apps on my phone. Wow. Kim is saying double Virgo moon in Scorpio. Wow. in regards to uh, Kendra. You can see how far behind I am. And you guys know me, I'm a triple Libra. My sun, moon, ascendant uh, are all in Libra. And everyone thinks that Libras are all about balance. It's the exact opposite. We're constantly seeking balance. So when you're a triple Libra, you need to ground even that much more. And that's why I always try to make time to force myself, literally, to force myself to go to the beach and ground. Otherwise, I would be a basket case, I'm sure. Kim is asking, do you believe in parallel lives? Definitely. I think that's part of the whole deja vu where you're drawing from some experience that's already happened or is currently happening and you just see it like, bam, catch like a little glimpse and you feel like I've done this before or, or I've been here before. And, and there's many, 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 according to Dolores Cannon, every decision you make creates a parallel universe. If you wake up and decide that you're gonna wear a yellow shirt, tank top, or a tie-dye shirt. Every possibility is already being played out, and we're just living in. And this is what basically the Mandela effect is, is showing us, too, that all these possibilities and timelines are basically converging into one timeline. So that's where we're at. We're, we're, they, they do exist, and there are parallel lives out there, but they're becoming fewer and fewer as we just zone in and bring in all aspects of ourselves into this current lifetime. Unity Grace I made a post from Alex Miles, which is the image I shared a couple days ago about the G1 magnetic storm. So that could, that, and thank you for bringing that up, Grace, because that might be another reason why many people are awakening as well or having trouble sleeping. Although I've had this issue, specifically waking up around 1.30 or so for, gosh, it's been probably a month or so David made a good point. Illusions cannot maintain their energy signature over time. They have to come back to reality. Those of us awake simply have to hold space and energy until it comes back around. Thank you. Shout out and good morning to everyone that's just joined in on our pajama party. I'm actually, I've got my sweats on and uh, yeah, most of the time I don't wear anything. So that wouldn't be cool um, having a pajama list party. Uh, but yeah, so this is, you know, if I do wear stuff, it's usually I'll, um, if I do put something on, it might be like a thermal shirt, believe it or not, here in Florida. If I do wear pajamas to bed, it'll be a thermal shirt with uh, two blankets. I, I love it hot. That's why I live here in Florida. Ryan's asking, do I practice the Wim Hof method? No, I don't. But I think it's amazing. That guy, the power of his brain, he can do anything, I'm sure. Tamara's asking, what time 
did you go to sleep? Uh, I lay down at nine o'clock last night and I was asleep probably by 9.30. I, I made a couple posts, did a little surfing on the internet, and then I put on that RNA, DNA, codon activation mantra song that I, or MP3 that I, I made and fell asleep probably within the first five minutes of it and woke up two hours later at 11.30 and then two more hours later at 1.30. Kathy is saying that she's occasionally experiencing strange arm aches, stiffness, and trouble flexing. Also, center, low back pain, and stiffness. Stiffness, both come and go without rhyme or reason. Does this resonate with anyone? Well, honestly, um, like I said the other day, I was doing that. I was doing my beach walk. Um, I do a walk of gratitude and I love bubble meditation and. It was the first time I put on, I was I had an, an MP3 of the codon, the RNA, DNA, codon activation. And uh, I was doing a beach walk, listening to that. Normally I have a sciatica issue and I could only walk maybe 15 minutes or so. But I ended up walking, it, it, it took me an hour and three minutes to walk the entire length of the island from where I'm at. And I didn't stop once. Um, and I was wondering, God, is it possible that what I'm listening to already healed my back? So on the way back, of course, I'm still listening to this and I'm focusing on opening up all the beneficial codons in my RNA and DNA. And I'm walking back and I'm power walking on the way back to see how fast I can make it back. 45 minutes later, bam, I make it all the way back. No back pain whatsoever. And I've had chronic sciatic issues for, gosh, probably since my late 20s. So I'm, I'm curious if that was just a, a fluke or if this is going to continue. But I, I really believe that a lot of this, like Wim Hof does, a lot of this is in the mind. And we do have that ability. And once we, once somebody can figure out how to turn on all the codons in their RNA and DNA. They can do anything. So that's my goal. Yeah, especially, you know, I turn six, 60 next year. So I, I'm kind of like, okay, I want to be young, young again and rejuvenate. <laughs> so that'd be cool. And with, um, when, when, when you have all the codons in your, RNA and DNA turned on, you can do anything. Anything is possible. I can put my hand in front of my face and I'll appear to you as being in my 20s, which is how I see myself in my dreams. Every, everyone's young in my dreams. Jenna is saying another storm is hitting for the next few days. Tons of phone issues glitching, throwing me off, freezing screens, Blacking out tons of static. Wow. Yeah, and who knows what to expect with this G1 that's coming in right now, along with uh, plasma waves and everything else. It's, it's pretty crazy. So, as always, make sure you find that time to ground. Claire is saying that we can feel the effects of the solar storms before it arrives and days after. Empaths more sensitive to these waves agree the waves are affecting those unawoken. Definitely agree. And I think a lot of people that are tuning in right now are energy sensitives because we're, we're picking up on these, these energies that are coming in. And we're basically like the, the first responders so to speak, we're feeling the energies and uh, we're 
reporting on it. And it's important that you put this kind of information out there and, and that you share it with other people to let them know, hey, I'm not crazy either. Uh, sea legs on land. So that's what Sandy said. <laughs> Carolyn's asking, are we all in our pajamas? I am. <laughs> Jeanette's asking, Greg, are you still drinking distilled water? No, I haven't drank distilled water since, I think, 2011, 2010, something like that. I found that when I was drinking the distilled water, my hair was falling out. It seemed like it was leaching the necessary minerals from my body somehow. So I stopped doing that. But I, I do drink ozone water or ozone alkaline water. This is just ozone water so with ozone alkaline ice. PJs are called tracky dacks in Oz, Australia. I did not know that. <laughs> Thanks, Nikki. And you can see how far behind I am again. Lindley is saying, hi, Greg, just tune in. I'm here in the UK. I get so electric pulsing through the calves upward overnight. I started grounding at night barefoot in the garden, and it's helped. It gets worse with strong solar waves. Well, gosh, I, I kind of relate to that because I have this numbness on my left foot my toes on my left foot and I'm I was told that I had one side of my back healed um, from sciatica I had sciatica on the opposite side and I was told that that was a reminder to be grateful for the healing now it's interesting what you might want to do is look at the metaphysical reasons why you're having that there's a, there is an article on metaphysical aches and pains, and it breaks it down on uh, the article signed in 5D, and it breaks it down what exactly it means. Uh, your, anything that's happening on the right-hand side of, of your body is a current life, and it's the divine masculine. Anything on the left-hand side is a past life or lives, and the divine feminine as well. So you might want to look into that. Um, if you go to n5d.com and just type in in the search bar metaphysical pains you'll find it and if i can maybe uh, if i remember i'll post it here in the chat as well well that's cool lynn is saying uh, that i have sciatica also and just realizing it has not hurt at all in the last two days forgot i even have it wow in shock Awesome. So there is some healing that's going on right now. Carolyn's saying men, more men are feeling exhausted now. Interesting, like non-awake men, 3D normies. <laughs> it's funny.
54 people here, and it's 4.30. This is crazy. Patricia is asking, please educate me. I'm a newbie. What is 5D? Well, I don't know if I can cover that in five minutes or three or two. <clears throat> I'll tell you what I know. In 2008, I had watched The Secret. At the time, I was a child and family therapist working with at-risk youth. But I knew I had a greater purpose in life. And I remember that day just dropping to my knees just telling the universe, what is it? What is it I'm supposed to do? Literally dropped to my knees. What am I supposed to do? And I got this, the only way I can describe it is a galactic download where I just got flooded with all this information. And I was told, you have to build a website. Here's the name in 5D. You have to get out there and talk. You have to do interviews and radio shows. And I'm like, you got the wrong person. I'm an introvert. And they're like, no, you're the, you're the one. You got to do it. So I ended up dissolving my business. I had a business at the time. I had a patent pending on a program I wrote to help families who are at risk of dissolution, breaking up. Children going through the reunification process with foster homes and stuff like that. And for parents in need of parenting classes. And the program got accepted by the area's largest human services facility in the three county area. And I was working it in that three county area when I got this download. And I ended up dissolving my business and just followed what they said, they're like, you have to build a website. I'm like, good. I don't, I don't I built a website from scratch. I taught myself how to build a website in HTML. If you go to the Wayback Machine, you'll see what I built. It looked pretty cool. I didn't know about WordPress <laughs> at the time, excuse me. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I was told to build, given the name even, in 5D. I'm a huge Dolores Cannon fan, and she talks a lot about 5D Earth, the new Earth. The thing that struck me the hardest, though, uh, Patricia, is I, 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 get, I see things before they happen, and it's not all the time. Sometimes it's in, in meditation, sometimes it's through dreams. She must have been 2014 or so. I had this vision of this white light just flooding the earth. I actually saw myself standing in front of myself watching this happen. But this white light floods the earth. And when that happens, all third dimensional stresses, worries, issues, they're gone. The only thing you'll feel is this unconditional love to a magnitude you've never experienced before in your life. The best, the best explanation I can use to show you how much love you're going to feel is to imagine the one thing you love the most more than anything on this planet. Magnify that by a million. That's how much love you're going to feel. That's what the event is about. That's what's going to happen when people have been talking about it since then, too. Um, you know, I, I didn't hear anyone talking about this beforehand. But since then, I've heard, like, Wilcock call it the solar flash, I believe. Um, there was a woman, I had an, had an N5D beach meetup. And there was a woman there who had 
a near-death experience. And she was on the other side and she was shown the exact same thing and felt the exact, the exact same thing as I did. It's just, and so many people have came forward about it. So to, to wrap it up just quickly, it's, 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 a, it's a knowing for me. It's something we're heading in that direction. It's going to happen in my opinion, in our lifetimes. Hopefully, if I had to put a date on it, I've never been given dates and I don't believe in any dates because like I said, timelines are changing. I would say by 2023, by the end of Pluto and Capricorn or sometime beforehand. I don't know, but it could be sometime afterwards. We, no one knows. And so I'm always a little skeptical when anyone puts a date on anything, but Positively skeptical, I guess, you know, because I'm always hoping. <laughs> and I kind of think that we bring it to us as well. So, you know, once we can eliminate more, more and more fear on this planet and get other people to come aboard with just le learning to live in that higher vibration of truth, love, and light, it'll make the event happen even that much more quicker. I could go on and on about that, but I hope that answered your question. I'm almost caught up on the comments. Carolyn's asking, Greg, have you ever seen the Rainbow Bridge? I have seen the Rainbow Bridge many times. I don't know when or how it happens, but I've seen the Rainbow, Rainbow Bridge. No, I haven't. But I'll be putting out an article, um, I think. Within the next three or four days, might be. I don't. I, I scheduled these articles. Um, but I'll be putting out an article soon about how all these rainbows are going to be commonplace all over the planet. It's not. I know it's not the same as the Rainbow Bridge, but it's, I'm glad you brought that up, Carolyn, because it's going to be a commonplace thing that rainbows will be. All over, not just one, many. So uh, stay tuned for that. And that's cool that you, you've seen that. And uh, I know a lot of times that, you know, people that have seen it, they'll see their pets there, their animals, we'll greet them on the Rainbow Bridge. Yeah, Kim, I, I, I love Dolores Cannon. She was awesome. She's probably there right now on 5D Earth with uh, Terrence McKenna and Ian Lundgold and you know, some others, Dr. Masaro Emoto, some of these people that have already passed. So I've carried on for about 40 minutes. I think what I'm going to do is probably sign off right now, but I want to thank everyone for joining me in our pajama party here at 4.40 a.m. Eastern Time. Probably um, try to find a video. I'm not tired at all. I don't feel like I'm going to sleep. Maybe I'll make some breakfast. My typical breakfast is three eggs over easy. <laughs> I think that's what I'm going to end up doing, making a bite to eat and uh, trying to find a video. Of course, when I start to get tired, I'm going to put that RNA, DNA, codon activation video on and fall asleep to that and see what I can manifest. So I'm going to leave it off at that. Thank you once again for joining me in our pajama party. And uh, there's probably a good chance that we'll probably end up doing it again sometime in the next few nights. So. Until the next time, this is Greg from in5d.com and Centasia.com, sending you all infinite love and light.